How's it going, everybody? This is Trainer Connor, and it's time for another Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Wi-Fi battle video. Thank you guys for coming to this Wi-Fi battle. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe as well, because I've got some amazing content coming your way real soon. We've got... A few more days until sun and moon come out. It's going to be great. Now we're using Volcanion again. If you guys have not used a Volcanion before, check out my last video and then look out for this one right now. Um, Volcanion is really, really versatile. It hits extremely hard offensively. You can make it bulky if you'd like. It's just... You put a choice bang, choice scarf, assault vest. I actually put an assault vest again because I figured it worked out in the last video. It's like, hey, let's use it again. But I have different team members. So we're using Alakazam. We're using Seismic Hogue. So those three, Seismic Hogue, Volcanion, and Alakazam, are staying with us. But the additions I made... To this battle here, Mega Venusaur, Noivern, and Umbreon. My opponent is a passerby challenger by the name of John. He's got a Grand Ninja, but seriously though, we're close to X and Y, or Sun and Moon rather. Well, uh, uh, we're close to Sun and Moon, guys, and I don't really care what people are bringing now. So yes, he does have Greninja with the approaching ability. He has a Mega Absol, Dustclops, Slowbro, Weezing, and Registeel. So you look at it, it is a defensive team with only Greninja, Absol, and Registeel for offense. We definitely see Weezing utilizing Pain Split. We definitely see Will-O-Wisp from Dustclops, Skulg, and Toxic from the Slowbro as well. None of which my team members would like to see. Yes, I have Synchronize on Umbreon. And I have a few immunities for poison types in the form of Venusaur. I have a Choice Scarf on Noivern, so I will be using him a lot. As I don't have anyone faster, you know, to, out to outpace Greninja and whatnot. Speaking of Greninja, he says start with Greninja, and I'm going to start with Seismitoad. And um, I figure he might U-turn here or set up spikes. I figure he might not have, uh, what's that move? Grass Knot. You don't see that very often. If he pulled that off, that would have been extremely bad. I don't have the berry to reduce the damage on that. I go for knockoff, trying to get rid of something. I didn't really care what I hit, but I hit Slowbro, which is, of course, super effective and all, but, like, it's great. We poison it because Synchronize is going to take effect here. Yes, I do uh, get poison as well, but at the same time, poisoning another Pokemon just like that, who is just as defensive as I am, it, it's a given. I, I will take that. Now, I figure he might switch out into Registeel, so I go for Wish right here. That way, I can go into someone else and get my HP back, take the hit, and we'll go from there. That's what I was trying to do. You can do that, or you can just go for Protect and whatnot, but I don't see that working out because I'm at full HP right now. I figure he might attack me here, so I went into Seismic Hug, but he sets up his Stealth Axe. But that's okay. We get our wish from the tiny amount of HP that I was missing from earlier. He goes into Weezing. I'm fine with that because Weezing does not have good special defense, as we see there. This is a Skald with no special attack investment. I go for knockoff, and we try to get rid of the 
black sludge, and here he does go for the pain split. And that has a lot of HP. That is a lot of HP that we got rid of there. So, what we need to do here is we need to go for another skull. I'm hoping for a crit. I'm hoping he doesn't go for the pain split again. He misses a will wisp. I figure he might predict me to switch out or something. I don't know. I really don't know. I was really close to getting the KO there. I was like, gosh darn it, if I got the KO there, that would have been fantastic. But we get pain splitted again. Look how much HP we're losing. That is not okay. I need Seismic Toad for some of his members. So I go with the Volcanion. I could have done this initially, but I realized that the Skull Throps were up. Weezing is leaving here. I'm like, gosh darn it, that's the reason why I went into Volcanion. But he goes into Dust Clops. I go for Scheme Eruption. And it's got a nice chance to burn the opposing Pokemon there, but we don't get the burn, unfortunately. He pulls off a Confused Ray on us. I do not want to play that game of stalling out and trying to get through the confusion and risking to hit myself. I don't want to do that, guys. So we switch out going to Umbreon. I go in, or he goes in the Swobo, rather. And this is okay. I can go for a foul play if I want to. And that actually does a lot of damage. Just saying. Of course, foul play does damage based on how high the physical attack and maybe special attack as well. I'm not completely sure. It's along those lines. But I go for foul play. And we do a nice chunk of damage there, but he does reveal the, the slack off, which is like, ugh, that's really unfortunate because he knows he can just stay in here for a little bit, but not too much longer because the poison is going to rack up more and more every single turn. He goes for Scald, and man, that's a critical hit. And it still doesn't do much to Umbreon. And you're like, well, you guys are saying Umbreon is amazing. And yes, I know that, because I faced an Umbreon in one of my previous battles, and that was a pain in the butt. But if you bring it to your own side, you are such a great trainer for thinking up that one. So that's me. We get a double switch out of that. He goes into Dust Pops, and I go back into Volcanion, and this is perfect as I went for the Wish. We pass it to Volcanion, and we're able to go with another Steam Eruption, get a critical hit, but we do not get what we're looking for, a burn. It's a 50% chance, and we don't get that. I go for Earthquake. We are going to play that game now. It's like, hey, you know what? It's based on luck. So let's go ahead and risk it. Risk the biscuit, as they say. I figured he might over predict here because the water type move was painfully obvious. And I look at my ability and it's like, well, he can't really do much to me because water absorb. Duh, of course. So that's that's a good thing there. I go for Sludge Wave. It's for, you know, hitting fairy types. But we do hit Slowbro, who does not have good special defense. We don't get hit once again. This is like three times in a row that we don't get hit in confusion. Now, because he can't go for Scald, he's forced to use Toxic. Or if he has Ice Beam, it would, it would not do very much, I'm just saying, because we're part fire. So yes, his limitations is really, it's really tight. That's what I'm saying. He can't really do much. I predicted Registeel to come in. That's why I went for the Earthquake, but because Registeel is so bulky, it's not going to do very much. And we do snap out of confusion, go for flamethrower, and we do not uh, KO this thing. I like Regis Steel. It's a really good Pokemon. And we definitely see that here. But I don't know if he has Earthquake or what. He could have used it right there, but he goes for the curse. 
that's fine. I'm gonna go for an earthquake yet again, and we'll finish off Registeel. So, Volcanion is being the MVP in this battle. I like how he's performing right now. Uh, but like in the last video, I didn't really show him very well. Because it was my first time using him, but after a few more matches, I kind of get a feeling of what Volcanion can do, and I also found some great partners for him. Unfortunately, we do see Mega Absol here, and the only thing I can ask speak is, besides Sucker Punch from Mega Absol, I can outspeed him and just KO him with a Draco Meteor. Fortunately, we do connect with the Draco Meteor. And uh, because Absol is really frail in general, that's going to take him out. Really nice. Now, unfortunately, I, you know, since my special attack is lower than usual from the special attack drops, I might not KO the Weezing from that range. And because I did that, I get a little bit of HP because Pain Split is doing the reverse of what it did earlier in the match. Because I have low HP and he doesn't. Therefore, I will get more HP back. So here, Umbreon is going to go for the Wish. And we don't get KO'd from the Sludge Bomb because I'm max HP and max special defense. And we barely hold on with 6 HP to spare, and I'm like, let's go ahead, pass the wish to Noivern, the acrobat here, because the stealth rock is going to take effect, only taking a little bit of damage there, and because of that, I'm going to have the wish activate right now, and I'm sure it's scarf, so I can outspeed Greninja, unless he's scarfed as well, but I only saw that one time, and that was a long time ago, so you don't see that very often. So therefore, we were able to outspeed Greninja, and we're going to take him out. He goes into Slowbro, and I believe that's, I believe that's his last Pokemon besides his other one that he has. So I'm going to go into Umbreon for Death Fogger, and we can use someone else. So, I mean, I still have Alakazam, I still have Mega Venusaur. So yes, he is going to switch out, I, it makes sense in my head, and he has Weezing, I totally forgot about you. But yeah, either way, I'm going to go for a Charge Beam, and I get the special attack boost from the Charge Beam, which is very nice. And all we have to do is KO Slowbro, but I was looking at my Pokemon, I'm like, I am going to win regardless. So let's go ahead and use Trooper, the Mega Venusaur, because it's like he didn't hit the battlefield until just now. And uh, because he got into the battlefield, he has to suffer a little bit of burn damage. But in the end, this was a really fun match utilizing Volcanion. And that is actually going to wrap up using Volcanion. I will be using some other Pokemon until Sun and Moon comes out. I will be breeding a lot more Pokemon in the coming weeks here. And I might post a little bit of Battle Spot in the end. So that was a great battle. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe. I'll see you next time with another Wi-Fi battle video. Alright, have a great day, trainers.